Alright, hey guys, Chris Chen here. Uh, today I'm going to show you a shortcut on how to get an art job. Alright, so what we're going to be using today is the golden rule of business, which is to understand your customer. You know, you got to put yourself in your customer's place. And basically, what I see a lot of people doing is that they first do all the learning and they build the portfolio, and as an afterthought, then they reach out to the client to see what they want and they submit their portfolio. What I'm suggesting otherwise is to first research the client, find out what they want, just kind of like when you apply to college, you figure out what are the requirements, and then you go about and learn the things you need to learn and build a portfolio that's going to get you the job. Step one is to first research the customer. Yeah, let's say I wanted to be a video game designer or animation studio. Of course, there's like the big studios like Disney and Pixar and stuff, but there's also um, a ton of small ones. Um, okay, so let's search uh, Animation Studio LA. And uh, yeah, and we have like a bunch of search results. Six Point Harness, Duck, Acme, Animation, you know, there's a bunch of stuff out there. Okay, so we see on this website, you know, there's an entire, there's an entire list of all these different studios. You know, like, even if you cannot get to, um, let's say, like, Disney, there's 50 other places that you can get a job at. There's a place called Duck Studios, and you can of course contact them. Mm -hmm. Six Point Harness, Acme, Jobs, all the phone numbers and stuff, they're all here. Okay, and if you want to be a video game designer, of course the same thing. And here's a list of a bunch of, a bunch of companies. There's, there's so many. And this, these are local for LA area. You know, there's big companies such as um, like Naughty Dog. And there's smaller companies, Nexon, I don't know, Entertainment Labs, Santa Monica, Quicksilver Entertainment, Ready at Dawn Studios, Red 5, you know, some I've heard of, you know, and some I haven't. And there's like just so many opportunities out there. You know, and you need to do your research. Research the industry overall, you know, and then research the companies, find out the games they've worked on and stuff, okay? You gotta understand your customer, which is these companies. All right, second, you wanna learn about the people that they hire. Instead of just speculating, asking teachers, why don't you find out who actually works at the company and look at their portfolio? For example, let's say I wanted to work at um, Sony Santa Monica, okay? Let's say I like God of War. I've never played it, but um, let's just pretend I have. Go to LinkedIn.com. Okay, so in my search engine, I'm gonna search Sony Santa Monica. And here's a list of all these people who've worked there. And by contacting these people, you can find out what is the standard of work. What is the minimum standard you need to be at to work at this company? You can see your contact info. So if you wanted to work on Sony God of War, this is what your artwork needs to look like. Kevin Chen. And uh, it's really cool because you get to see their entire background of all the different companies that they worked at before. Okay, so so far we learned that we can use Google to find out about the industry and find out about, um, you know, 50 plus different companies that you can work at. Second, we figured out how to use LinkedIn to you know, search like the employees who currently work at the company. And you can, you know, use LinkedIn to, of course, Google their name or there's right there, you can uh, find out what their portfolio looks like. Third, let's establish a relationship with some of these people and you know ask them some questions. Yeah, so what I typically would like to do is I'd like to first check out their blog, uh, their portfolio website, and if I really like their work, you know, and I feel like, wow, I kind of want to, you know, be like this person, I'd send them an email, first complimenting them, saying like, oh, I've looked at your blog, you know, I really like the game studio you worked at, it's super cool, I really admire you. And then I would, you know, ask for their opinion. No one likes to give away shit for free except their opinion. People love to give away their opinion. You know, ask them, what do you think is um, the ideal portfolio? What does the ideal portfolio look like? I might talk about myself a little bit, saying like, oh, I'm an art student at this art school. You know, this is what my portfolio looks like. I'm studying. You know, ask them some questions. Um, and you want to develop a relationship with this person. Uh, if this person responds, maybe in a couple emails, you need to find, ask them really important information such as who is in charge of hiring. 
You know, is it the art director or maybe it's a human resources person? You need to ask, um, what does the ideal portfolio, what does the ideal job candidate look like? You know, again, we're thinking about their point of view. What are they looking for? What are their inner desires as a company, you know, as an employer? How can I deliver on that? So lastly, you want to, for step four, is deliver on their desires. So if they tell you, give you advice, go ahead, follow their advice, you know. As they might give you feedback like, oh, you know, your artwork, if you want to work for us, you need to learn 3D or whatever. Maybe they say, oh, hey, if you want to work for us, you need to learn animation and traditional drawing skills, you know. Or maybe they say, oh, you need to be really good at storytelling. Every company is going to tell you something different. And a big mistake I see a lot of students doing is that they listen to like all these different and they combine it together like a big mushy salad. You got to realize that, um, you know, these are all different uh, employers and customers and um, create that ideal portfolio you know so basically um, you do the client research and then you build a portfolio you know just like if I'm going to do an illustration first I gather reference images right and then after I gather all my references then I do the illustration this is kind of the same thing before I build my portfolio first I do my client research you know I gather my references like oh this is what the ideal portfolio should look like these are the kind of drawings I need, then I go build it. It just makes more sense that way. I don't know why people don't do that. I think it's because artists like to be free and want to do their own thing and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, just to like, give you a little background about myself, uh, back in 2012, I was taking a class with Nathan Folks and I showed him my portfolio. And it, it wasn't a bad portfolio. Uh, he simply asked me, hey, so what do you want to do? And I said, I want to be a theme park designer. And he said, uh, well, you know, your portfolio kind of looks like a video game design portfolio. And then I was like, wow, you are absolutely right. <laughs> you know, I didn't have any like theme park designs in my portfolio. So I started doing uh, those theme park illustrations and I did a lot of research. I went to theme park conventions. I bought books and blogs and I learned all this research, did all this research on these different companies. I talked to theme park illustrators. I came up with only three illustrations, you know, and I, and I got a job, you know. So, um, of course, if you don't have the foundational art skills and techniques, you need to work on that. But if you already have that, you probably aren't too far away from getting a job. You know, you just need to be, uh, do your research, you know, and um, treat the employer as a customer and give the customer what they need, you know. You're, you're helping people with your skills, all right. And um, yeah, that's about it. I feel like this workflow, this methodology is really precise, you know. It's kind of like you are, if you're driving close someplace, you first GPS the directions, you know, you ask for the directions and then you go, you know, and it's really focused. Like you're, you're like a sniper rifle. You're not going for everything. You, you pick your focus and you just get it, you know, you, you focus on it. And um, yeah, that's it. Well, anyways, I've actually worked on this video. I worked on this content for about a year. You know, if you have any questions, feel, feel free to let me know. Um, I'm glad to help. You know, it's finally happy to get this over with, actually. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.